brother, have you seen my... Huh? Brother! What? The cube! You ruined it! I was working on that all day! Oh. Oops. I, I didn't know you were doing a thing with it. Sorry. Uh, it was a spiral, right? Give me a sec. No! No, no! There we go. Fixed it. Here. Ugh! I don't even want it anymore! Come on. I said sorry. Don't sulk. Hey, here. I reset it for you. I'm not stupid! I didn't say you were. I'm not stupid! I'm not- I'm not stupid! My puzzles are really good! They're really challenging! And smart and good! Don't I always say that? Look, don't let him get to you, okay? We both know you're not dumb. I'm sorry for messing up your puzzle. I'll just have to make a harder one next time. How did training go? <sighs> Same as always. You know me. I'm the best at being disappointing. Oh, don't worry, brother. You'll get better at it someday. Did he give you one of the laser thingies? Oh. Yeah, but it didn't do much. I guess it was kind of funny to see the look on his face, though. He really thought he was onto something. Looks like I can fail my way out of anything. Does it look like mine? Can I see it? I want to see! Huh? Mm. Eh. I'm not real good at it. Come on, I want to see! I want to see! Show me, 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 show me! Yep, that's it. Doesn't quite match up to yours, huh? Oh, jeez, are you okay? I didn't tell it to. I love it! You have a scar on your neck. What? You had a scar, right here. There's a little line. Oh! Oh, that's probably from when he... did that thing, you know? Yeah, when you had the neck brace. It's my fault it didn't heal, right? If I was better at healing, I could have fixed it. Oh no, brother, don't think that! You did a good job! It's just... with your condition. My condition, my condition. He messed up when he made me! That's my condition! He messed up and now I can't do anything right! I'm not good for anything! That's not true! Let's face it, I'm not supposed to be here, okay? I'm a mistake. I'm a prototype. I'm spare parts. Whatever it is. It's real obvious I'm not like you or him. So let's stop pretending, okay? That's not true, brother. You're not a mistake. Why would he have kept you if you were a mistake? To use against you? That's the only thing I'm good for! Everything else... I can't even heal you right. I can't help you when I want to when I can't. Why did he make me like this? Why didn't he make me like you? Then at least I could protect you. I could take some of it for you instead of... Brother, listen. Look at me. What do you always tell me about him? <sighs> don't let him get to you. That's right. You don't think I'm stupid, do you? No. And I don't think you're worthless. It doesn't matter if you mean nothing to him. You mean everything to me. You're what keeps me alive. Never forget that, okay? It doesn't matter what he says, he's wrong. I'm the smartest monster in the whole underground, and you're the strongest, and someday we'll prove it to him. I know it. Just don't give up, okay? Okay. So, we're all skeletons, right? You and me? And him. Yeah. So, he can make bones, and we can make bones too, right? Uh-huh. So, do you think we can do that other thing he does? Where he grabs you and picks you up with magic? Huh. Now that you mention it... We're all skeletons, right? Maybe that's a thing skeletons can do. <laughs> Maybe. What, you wanna try? Yeah! Well, he won't know unless we try, right? Guess so. So, how do we start? Hmm. Um... Well, it feels like he's grabbing your soul and holding it. Try putting your hand on my soul. Why you first? Because I won't die if something goes wrong! Put your hand on my soul! Okay. Uh, now... Do magic stuff. <sighs> I don't know. I I'm not good at magic stuff. <laughs> oh! It's working! Wow, it feels... It feels weird, right? Yeah! It's not cold or big or scary, it... 
feels, um, familiar? Like it's my magic, but not quite. Yeah, it's 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 like mine, but but more. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, so try closing your magic around me. See if you can hold on to me. Okay, okay. Uh. You're doing it. Oh, look, look, you're doing it. Oh, look at it glowing. Wow. You doing okay? Yeah, it doesn't hurt or anything. It just feels kind of heavy. Oh, ooh, try to pick me up. What? Come on, pick me up. There's no way. You're too heavy, bro. He picks me up all the time. He's stronger than me. Come on, at least try. <laughs> Maybe I've been trying this whole time and you didn't even notice. Really? <laughs> nah, I'm messing with you. Brother! Fine, then maybe I'll just pick you up. Wait. <gasps> What's happening? I don't know. I feel kind of... fuzzy? Yeah. C kind of blurry. Okay, maybe... I won't pick you up. Yeah. Maybe we shouldn't do it at the same time. It felt like we had a loop going there or something. Yeah, whatever that is that sounds right <laughs> it's pretty good we can do it though it is pretty good uh, do you think you'll be happy we figured it out Come with me. I know the two of you have been experimenting with blue magic. Blue? Yes, that is the color associated with the ability. It makes sense that you both would be able to use it. You inherited... <laughs> inherited it from me. Since you're beginning to show aptitude for it, a lesson is in order. <laughs> you, here. Blue magic allows a soul to be affected by gravity. The source of the heavy feeling you no doubt experience every time I pick either of you up. Now, those truly adept at blue magic can take hold of the soul and move it as they please. With my expertise, I barely have to exert any effort at all to lift and move either of you. Now to the point. <laughs> Should either of you ever even think of using blue magic on me, for any reason, there will be consequences. No! Stop! As you can see, at this level, I do not need to raise traps on the walls to inflict significant damage. Just the strikes themselves are enough. Stop! Stop! Don't! Leave him alone! You're going to kill him! Oh, please, give me some credit. I know exactly how much punishment he can take. And I know exactly how hard to make each strike right down to the number. He is in no danger of death. This is merely a demonstration. Stop! 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 Please! Please stop! Have I made myself clear? Yes! Yes! Just stop! Please stop! Please! Did you hear that, 2P? I cannot make an example of him so easily, but you have the endurance to take his place should he misbehave. If 1S ever even considers using blue magic against me, I will hold you responsible. And this is just a demonstration. I assure you, this could be much worse. Do you understand? And you, 1S? Yes. I understand. Just let him go, please. If the point has been made, then we are done for now. Here, heal him if you like. I'll fix whatever you can't. For your sake, I hope both of you keep this in mind. What about him? 
Hmm? What if he used blue magic on you? We both know that's not going to happen. People are getting very concerned. I know, and we're working on it. The surge is- Hey! 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 I need to talk to you! Oh! Hello there. Is something on your mind? Your Majesty, I thought this meeting was approved for staff only. Now, now, Gaster, I can always make time for a concerned citizen. What's on your mind, my friend? I want to talk about the core. Yes, what about it? People don't feel safe in there. We're always understaffed and people are worried about falling in. F falling in? Yeah, especially because the place is always shuffling around for no good reason. Excuse me, that feature keeps the entire construct in line with traditional puzzle principles. The only thing puzzling about it is why you eggheads can't even put some safety rails into your fancy designs. Like you know anything about proper design. Everyone calm down, please. You said you were understaffed? Yeah, we should be working in pairs so we'll know if something happens to someone. We need a buddy system, but there ain't any buddies to go around in there. Uh, are you sure? That's weird. I mean, you're right, that makes sense, but... Don't we always hire people in pairs? I thought we did. Yes, I'm sure. I'm almost sure. Well, go ahead and check. There ain't no pairs in there. You gotta do something. It's not safe. Has anyone working in the core ever reported any accidents? Well, no, but it could happen. And if someone fell in, they're not gonna be able to report it, are they, smart guy? No, but we would have definitely heard from their families, or their friends, or their partners, or anyone else who cared about them. If someone fell into the core, we would know. Just because it ain't happened don't mean it won't happen. People could die in there. I'm not concerned about baseless hypotheticals. The benefits of the core far outweigh- Hypotheticals? Why you- All right, everyone, calm down, please. Thank you for coming to talk to me about this. I will take your concerns very seriously. If that is all. Yeah, yeah, I get the picture. Nobody cares about the little guys. Well, that was awkward. Dr. Alphys, could you look into getting the core staff some more people? And, Dr. Gaster, I'd appreciate it if you put in some safety rails, at least. <laughs> Fine. But honestly, I don't see the point. 7 a.m. Lights on. Everything in order. Forgot to shut the main computer down the previous night. No apparent damage. 7.15 a.m. Subject 2 is awake. Subject 1 is not. But their behavior indicates nothing is amiss. Breakfast and coffee. This headache won't go away. 8 a.m. Subjects are both awake and playing a bone tossing game. One episode from 1S. Evidence points to an increasing trend following the incident. As predicted, 2P's episode rate remains stable. They are eating normally, despite shivering more than usual. 10.30 a.m. Fast forwarded through four hours of last week's surveillance video. Roughly 120 more hours to catch up to today. Nothing of interest. Ran the magic peak check over unwatched footage. No results. Still have a headache. 11 AM. Check up on 2P. He's healing very well. I'm so quiet. Be quiet. He did not say anything. 11.30 AM. Blue magic. The panic attacks when they are picked up are growing shorter. 2P is a worse than 1S's, as predicted. Continued exposure should reduce the duration, though they are very obedient now to avoid being picked up, so it's not a priority. No threats or manufactured situation can get them to use the blue magic themselves. 2P bursts into hysterical tears. 1S shuts down into a near catatonic state. Success. 12 p.m. Smoke break. 12.37 p.m. Call with Alphys to discuss core readings and development. Anomalous readings continue to plague me. Core is functioning, but it could be better. Must figure out improvements. 2.08 p.m. Forgot to eat. Little progress. Fed subjects. 
still eating normally. 3 p.m. Blaster tests. When the two of them hold hands, 2P's magic output is greatly increased. 1S's damage output remains capped, however. No matter how 2P tries to assist, nothing seems capable of breaking 1S's limitations. He's like a black hole when it comes to magic. It'd be fascinating if it weren't so annoying. They ended up fighting when 1S tried to zap me, as predicted, and 2P interceded. I wasn't in the mood to mediate, so I've separated them until they calm down. 4.05 p.m. Still have a headache. 4.15 p.m. Smoke break. Six fifteen p.m. Progress made with DTEM IDF theory. Cooling conveyance nearly complete. Still can't figure out what's wrong with the core. My personal magic signature is still completely absent from both TML files. Can't track down the bug that's causing this. 6.20 p.m. Call from Asgore. Wants to meet to discuss safety rails. Told him I was very busy, but he insisted. Need to get rid of the smoke smell. 7.45 p.m. Return from meeting slash dinner. Ran longer than anticipated. We'll have to move the laser session to tomorrow. Just remembered I left one and two separated this whole time. 8 p.m. Reunited subjects and fed them. Argument has been apparently forgotten. 9 p.m. Another two hours of footage fast forwarded. Nothing of note. This would be easier if I could work effectively while checking these, but they make it impossible to focus. 118 hours to go, not counting today's. Subjects are currently talking about their day. Prolonged separation prompted an extra episode from both of them, not counting it towards their normal rate. 11 p.m. Work, headache, smoke. 12 a.m. Little warm. No progress. Can't think. Turned off the lights to try and focus. One and two are curled up and talking about dreams. We'll have to cross-reference what they say with TML readings during their next session. Two o six a.m. Tired. Just tired. There's no point in saying I hate this, right? No, not really. I hate this. Thanks for your input. Got a reason for whatever you're doing this time, or are you just bored and got nothing better to do? Hey, maybe you could saw my head off too, so me and my broken have matching scars. That'd be interesting for you, right? I always have reasons for what I do. Mind sharing them for once? Or are you just gonna go, you wouldn't understand, for the 80th time? You wouldn't understand. Not completely. 81. If you reach 100, do I get a prize? <sighs> well? I don't know why I indulge either of you. It's no use to me in the long run. It's probably detrimental, honestly. Hey, what are we gonna do even if you do tell us, huh? Nothing. You got all the power here, so why not? Do you remember what I've told you about souls? They're the culmination of our beings or something. Yes. That applies both to humans and to monsters. And to you. The two of you are... unique. There's never been anything like you before, and there never will be anything like you again, most likely. We're things, you said. Yes. You are constructs, artificial beings created following a monster's blueprints. Now, do you recall what monsters are made of? <laughs> Magic. Yes. And that magic is created and maintained by our souls. A monster's body, therefore, is a direct manifestation of their soul. And the two of you have unique souls, unlike any other monster that's ever lived. Therefore, your bodies and their potential strengths and weaknesses and limitations are completely unknown. I've already made unexpected discoveries by pushing your limits. 
so I'm continuing to explore my options. Now are you satisfied? <laughs> Did you ever enjoy it? Excuse me? Did you ever enjoy hurting us? I do what I have to. <laughs> That's not an answer. <laughs> but it's the only one you got, isn't it? What were you like before you made us? It doesn't matter. Did you do this kind of thing before? Irrelevant. Were you nice back then? Were you happy once? What happened? Come on, we've wasted enough time. <laughs> oh, it's subject one. Give me the color cube. I'm going to need it later. I'm fine. I let go in time. Huh? His hand! Get his hand and turn off the beams! Quick, this is our chance! He's... hurt. Who cares? Get his hand! Come on, hurry! What are you doing? He... he he's hurt. He's hurt really bad. I can't... I can't just leave him like this. What? No! Turn off the beams! What are you doing? What, are you listening? Brother! Brother, come on! Don't, don't shoot! What do you think's gonna happen if you help him, huh? He's not gonna let us go! He's not gonna change! Think about what he did to you! This is our chance! This is our only chance to get out of here! Brother, please! I'm begging you! Just leave him! Please! 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 Everything I... Where does that blind, unthinking kindness come from? Well... You made me so... It must have come from you! Right? <laughs> God, you don't understand. You really don't understand at all. A human would have escaped. A human would have let me die. Your mercy is going to get you killed. You may get us all killed. I took 2P with me when I left. 1S was too agitated to safely open the cell without chancing his escape, and I was... <coughs> not at full strength. I locked 2P in a room alone while I recuperated. Normally isolation is a punishment, but this time I... wanted some time to myself. 2P was already upset when we left, and being left alone for so long did no favors. Are you mad at us? Please don't hurt him! Don't hurt my brother! He didn't mean to, I swear! I'm not angry. Come on. Really? You aren't... mad at him? I would have done the same thing in his place. I'm in no position to judge. I should have been more careful. 
Are you mad at me? <sighs> Such a fragile state would lead to usual comforting on his return, or so I thought. This time, though... Brother? How could you do that? Things did not go as usual. He... he was hurt! I... We could have escaped. We could have got out of here and you threw it away for him! Well, what was I supposed to do? Let him die! It's not like he doesn't deserve it after everything he's done to you! He should have died! If I was the one out there, I would have... You... You would have... <sighs> How could you... How could you let someone... How could you choose him over me? They did not say anything more. When I checked in on them before I left, I saw for the first time that they were sleeping apart. I had long assumed that the bond they developed was unbreakable, only strengthening under duress. Anything done to drive them apart would only bring them closer together. It appears I was wrong. Entry in This is becoming worrisome. A potential problem. The two of them have not reconciled, and as a result, they are doing poorly. I remember being concerned about this earlier when I first introduced them to each other. My misgivings were not unfounded. Their first taste of loneliness is poisoning them. 1S refuses to speak to me at all. He will follow directions, but he only puts in the barest minimum of effort, regardless of threats or punishment. I've grown used to- <laughs> Normally, he tries to engage me in debate or get on my nerves in some attempt to prove something. But lately, nothing. He does not even seem angry. Just lifeless. Hopeless. Even the slightest movement seems to exhaust him. It is worryingly, increasingly difficult to get him to even wake up each day. 2P does not lack for energy, but it comes with a new fragility. He'd relied on his 1S's support before whenever he failed at something, and now, with nothing to bolster him, he's lost. He cannot focus, and even tests he used to pass are becoming impossible. With each new failure, he gets worse. He's begun asking me for reassurance, which certainly proves he's desperate. It's strange to see them so quiet. I wonder what they're thinking about. I always thought I'd enjoy the day when 2P realized that his mercy would have real consequences. That it would get people hurt. But now that it's come, it's just inconvenient. At this rate, little is going to be accomplished. I'm not sure they'll even heal each other properly like this. The question is, what to do? These sorts of social dramas are, admittedly, not in my skill set. I'm not sure I wouldn't just make things worse. I am the focal point of this entire argument, after all. It looks as though 2P is having a nightmare. <laughs> Usually 1S is so close by he can wake him, but this time... you. I just, I don't understand. You said, you said I was, you always understood before when I didn't want to kill anything, but this time you- It wasn't the same, we could I know, but, uh, but I'd always be thinking about how we left him, and, and you, your soul, I want to say whatever 
whatever will make you stop being mad at me, but I don't know what it is. I... I wish he was dead. Jeez, you don't have to do that. I wish he was. I wish I'd left him. Don't say that. You're just going to work yourself up again. Well, I know you don't mean it. I, I do. I, I really... I really... You don't mean it. It's not in you. It's in me, and it's in him, but it's just not in you. I guess it's how you were made. And it wasn't really fair to ask you that in the first place, I guess. It's just... We were so close. We were so close to getting out of here, and never getting hurt again, and... I'm just... I'm sick of seeing you get hurt, you know? Sometimes I hate him so much for it, it scares me, and seeing you heal him, it... Thinking about it still makes me mad. He doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve someone like you caring about him after everything he's done. You got all this faith in him and he ain't ever gonna pay it back to you. You're too good for him. And... I really would have let him die if I was out there. So maybe you're too good for me, too. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get how you can be like that. I think I really messed this up. I don't get how you could leave someone to die, either. But I don't think that makes you bad. Just because you could, or you think you could, that doesn't mean you will, right? You could make a good choice instead. And I know you'd make a good choice. See, I don't get how you do that. Have faith in these things that just hurt you. You're my brother. I trust you. I know you'd make the right choice. Everyone can make the right choice if they just try. I know they can. I know you can. Even if you hurt people or do bad things, that doesn't mean you still can't decide to be good instead. You can always be good, no matter what you've done. And if it's too hard to be good, then I'll help you. You can trust me too. I just don't get it. <laughs> me and him both don't get it. God, we really are the same. You're not the same, brother. You care about me. <laughs> You're the only one that's ever really cared about me. <laughs> yeah. You too. I'm sorry I disappointed you. I'm sorry I asked you to do something like that. Probably wouldn't have worked out anyway. Nothing ever does. We'll get out of here someday. I promise. Somehow. Okay. It seems like you and your brother, Subject 2, have reconciled. I guess. You don't sound very enthused. Uh-huh. Well, no! Oh, and I liked that one, too. Oh, nothing to say? Like what? Like some smart comment about my clumsiness, or perhaps a clever parallel drawn between breaking a cup and breaking your eye. Something of that nature. It's unlike you to pass up an opportunity to needle me. Mm. How are you feeling? Why do you care? I keep closer tabs on your emotional state than you might think, for a few different reasons. I assumed your energy level would improve after it was resolved, but that seems not to be the case. Guess so. How do you feel? I don't feel anything. Hey, guess we got something in common, huh? Come on, brother. Come and play a game with me. It'll make you feel better. I don't really feel like it. It'll definitely make you feel better than just lying there. Come on, brother, it'll be fun. I don't really want to. Brother! Okay, okay. All right, so who do you want to be, him or us? 
I don't care. Brother, pick one. Whichever one you want. Ah, fine. You'll be us and I'll be him, okay? Now, what should we do? Which one do you want? The one where he takes us home with him? Or the one where everyone needs him to be nice to us? Or the one where we talk him into stopping? I don't know. Whichever one you want. Ah, you're making this really hard. Okay, uh, let's do the one where we talk him out of it. You're always really good at that one. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Would you come with me? I'm going to do something really painful to you for no reason. Okay. Brother, that's not how it goes. Okay. No, just okay me. You're not listening. Come on, you've got to try a little harder. He won't listen. <clears throat> come with me unless you can think of a reason why you shouldn't. Okay. Brother, stop being difficult and do it right. Why? It never works. Brother. It never works and it's never gonna work either. No matter what we do, he's never gonna stop. We're never gonna get out of here. He's just gonna keep hurting us forever. We're never... We're, we're never... Oh, you're crying. Oh, don't cry. It's okay. We don't have to do that one if you don't want. Why am I... Why am I crying? I don't want to. I, I can't stop. What's wrong with me? Nothing's wrong with you. Everything's wrong with me. Everything. No, 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 no. Don't think like that. Everything. Everything. Shh, shh. Don't cry. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, brother. Close your eyes. That'll make you feel better. I, I, I can't. It's not, it's not working. What do you mean it's not working? Just glow your eyes. I'm trying and it's not working. I'm trying and it's not, it's not working. I can't, I can't glow anymore. That's not true, you can't. I can't even glow anymore. That's how broken I am. You're not broken. How can you say that? Look at me. Look at me. I am looking at you. And I see a skeleton who can still glow. Even if it's just with one eye. I... I can't. Yes, you can. I can't. I can't do it. Yes, you can. I know you can. I believe in you. I know you can do it. Why? Because I can see you. The real you. Even when you can't. And I know you can glow. I know you can. You see? I told you. I knew you could. <laughs> I guess you were right. Do you feel better? <laughs> A little. I'm sorry I keep doing this. I don't want to. You can make it up to me by finishing our game properly. Come on. Where is he? He's been late more and more often lately. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm here. My apologies. I got caught up in something. I should have all the readings you requested. Is, is something wrong? Doctor... Doctor Gaster, what happened to your face? It's cracked. Oh. Oh, nothing. Just an accident. I don't want to discuss it. And your coat. Ah, yes. I had to do some repairs. Thankfully, I still have the sewing box in the kit. Well, I tried to fix it. Anyway, about the court. What happened? I told you, I don't want to discuss it. You were limping when you came in. You're shaking even now. You're still in pain, aren't you? This meeting isn't about my personal health. If we're not going to talk about the court, then I might as well leave. When did this accident occur? How serious was it? I, I can do my best to heal you if you want. Fine. Call me when you want to be serious. I have work I need to get back to. W.D. Gaster, you will answer me when I speak to you. Are you still wounded, and how severely? I'll deal with it on my own. It's not your concern. You are being extremely childish right now. Come here! It's not your concern. Come here! No! Why is it so hard to get you to take care of yourself? Stop.
stop it. Stop. Stop it! Stop. Stop caring about me. It'll be easier if you don't. I'm really worried about him. He can't keep this up much longer. He just can't. Get out! <sighs> what time is it? Uh, when's the last time I ate? Uh, when's the last time they ate? Did I do their test today? Uh, if I miss a day, it's going to throw the whole baseline off. <sighs> Ugh, I'm so hungry. I know, I know, but I'm sure it'll come soon. Come on, try solving this one. I think it's really good. Maybe he forgot about us. Maybe something happened to him. No, I won't have any of that. It's puzzle time now, focus. I'm sure he'll come, we just have to be patient. I'm here. Oh, see, I told you. Both of you, come with me. Uh, okay, but you know we haven't eaten anything since the lights came on, right? You didn't forget, did you? Of course you wouldn't forget something that important, brother. Right? Today we're going to be doing something different. Never seen this room before. I've written up a set of directions here. They are very clear in every respect. I want you to follow these directions while I observe. Is this a test? Yes. Uh, okay. Oh, there are even pictures! Uh, pot? And a bunch of lines? Noodles, it says. Wow! I've never seen noodles before! What's it say to do? Uh, put the pot under the faucet, uh, this thing here, and uh, turn the knob? What is coming out? Yeah, it says to fill it, and then uh, what we have to do is we have to take a look at this Is it not for- Both of you, go sit down over there, at the table, in the chairs. Oh, do we not get any? I won't repeat myself. Sit. All right, here. For us? No, you got some too. I didn't know we could make food. It's called cooking. But all we did was follow the instructions. That's all cooking is. Wow! So can we- No more talking. Well, okay. But that was kind of fun, huh? I- What did I just say? Do you remember back before we got the plates? When he'd take us out and leave us in the room while he worked on stuff? And, and he'd talk to us and teach us things? Yeah. Why do you think he did that? Who knows why he does anything. It was probably some messed up experiment or something. Maybe he was lonely. If he was lonely, he would have made people, not things. Well, maybe he wanted to be friends with things anyway. He wasn't so bad to us back then. He wasn't real good to us either. No, but... One time, I remember... He was working on something and you were asleep, and he seemed really frustrated. He said he'd never figure it out. So I told him that I knew he could, and that I believed in him and his smartness. And he looked at me, and... He smiled at me. For real. 
Did he ever smile at you like that? Public one, come here. Sit down. All right. Watch carefully. You can rotate the sides of this cube to shift the colors around. The goal is to make each side one solid color. Now, it might take you some time to solve Done. if you can at all, but it's Done. <laughs> huh. That that's very impressive. Really? Yes, I thought it would take much longer. Here, try again. Uh, mm, done. Amazing. Yeah, he did. I wonder why he stopped. Maybe people aren't allowed to be friends with things. Maybe that's why they made him give us the plates and stop being nice to us. Or maybe he did it because it made it easier for him to do all those messed up things to us. Maybe he planned on doing this the whole time. Do you think he planned on liking us? I don't think he ever liked us. I mean, when he smiled at us, those times. Do you think he planned on that? No. Maybe that's why he did it then. To make himself stop. I feel kind of sorry for him. He's not worth it. Don't bother. It must be hard to be alone all the time. We've always got each other, but he doesn't have anyone. I wonder if he misses us. You can't just refuse to participate. I don't want to kill anyone! I'm not going to push either button! The point of the question is that that's not an option. Yes, it is! You have to kill someone, and that's why it's a difficult choice. No, I don't! There's always another way! I'd find another way! You can't answer every hypothetical. <sighs> this is a waste of time. You're never going to learn. You just refuse to deal with the real world. That's not what the real world is like. How would you know? It's not like that. I just know it. Do you? All right then, here is the next hypothetical. There is a young skeleton. Maybe he's around your age. He believes in peace just like you do. Then there is a war. Humans against monsters. All the skeleton's friends are fighting. His family, his brothers are fighting. But he is not. He doesn't want to kill anyone. His brothers are fighting, and they are losing. He does not fight. They die. They all die. If he had fought, he could have saved them. But he did not. In hurting no one, everyone suffered. Now do you understand? Sometimes, you have no choice. That's why- That poor skeleton! <laughs> what? That skeleton, I feel bad for him. Why? He got the people he loved killed. No, he didn't! That wasn't his fault! How is it not his fault? He could have done something, and he didn't. How are those deaths not a direct result of his actions? Because he wasn't the one who killed them! The humans did! The skeleton just wanted to be friends! He could have stopped the humans if he tried. No, he couldn't. You said humans were a hundred times stronger than us. If the skeleton fought, it wouldn't have changed anything. He would have died too. A and... And I bet his brothers would be happy he stayed alive. Even if they died. Th they would have been happier if they'd survived. If if he'd had the strength to fight. It's, it's his fault that- It's not his fault. It is his fault. No, it's not. He didn't even want to fight. The humans were the one who killed people. The humans were the ones who put him in that situation in the first place! You don't... if he... if through his inaction, he might as well have killed them if he... If the humans killed his brothers, then it's their fault! They're the ones who chose to hurt someone! It's not... It's not fair to get mad at the skeleton for not fighting! He couldn't have done anything even if he did! It's not his... It is his fault! It has to be!
Don't look at me like that. We're done for today. You always go, people need me to do this. People need me to be like this. So what it sounds like is that you don't have a choice about doing all this to us, right? But you know, my brother, you control everything that happens to him all day, every day, but he still chooses to believe in you, that you can change. And he chooses to believe in me and to be kind, and to care. Every day he makes that choice, no matter what you do to him. And me, every day I choose to keep going, for him. We're never getting out of here. We're never gonna have any control over anything that happens to us. But we still make choices. Yet somehow, you out there, on the other side of the beams, you want me to believe that you got less freedom than us? Because you don't. You've got choices. You're just not strong enough to make them. Your Majesty, what is it? Really, I can't be away for long. Oh no. They were so small, Gaster. They didn't even want to fight. Just a child. A child just like my- Let me see it. Let me see. I can- I can tell you more. Let me- Let me look at it. It's the sixth one, Gaster. We're running out of time. Don't say that. I'm running out of time. Please, don't say that! I, I, I'm sure I'm close to a breakthrough. I'll find some other way, just... Please. There's no way out. Your Majesty, please. Whatever I become... Please. Do not forget who I was. Promise me. You... You won't... I won't let... I'll find another way. I'm close, I swear to you, I'm close, I know it. It's not too late. It's already too late. It can't be. I refuse to accept that. Failure is not an option. Alright. The darkness is clearing. I'm getting close. It's almost decipherable. What is? If I can keep it at the specific frequency, then it can be translated into proper images. What frequency? Don't distract me. Just stay focused on the days. <laughs> what is that? children. Hmm. You're very protective of strangers then. Well, yes. Go to the terminal and shut down the program. But... Okay. 
Okay. Hmm. You must still be linear at this time. Interesting. Did you intend to bring me here now? A shame we've never discussed it before. Hmm. This plane is nicely physical. It makes one want to stretch a little. Casualty has its threads around you. But now I wonder, does it offer your son the same protection? He's not my son. He has a piece of your soul, as does the other. Isn't it semantics at that point? What do you want? Why did you attack us? I was curious. As I'm curious now, I want to see how easy it will be to kill you. Why? We didn't do anything to you! You'd be surprised how often that doesn't matter. That's not fair! Yes, that's correct. You... you leave us alone! We're not scared of you! Is that so? What a little hero you have, Gaster. He looks like you, you know. You're very brave, little one, but very foolish. You must come from poor stuff. You hit hard, even this far back. Come on! You're certainly making this interesting. You should be pleased. Just stand there, dodge it! <laughs> and you're doing quite well, considering your limitations. Whoops. I forgot how fragile you are like this. Physical bodies can be so inconvenient. Are you okay? I. <laughs> Come on, come on, F1, where's F1? Ah, the rift is closing. The little one over there has almost figured it out. You know, I've always wanted to give a cryptic warning. I guess now's my chance. Dr. Gaster, you have such interest in the future, but it has very little interest in you. Everything you've worked on, everything you've created, none of it needs you. And none of it will remember you when you're gone. So you must ask yourself, was it worth it? was that? I have no idea. I didn't think there was enough energy for something to get through. But from where exactly? Or when? You saved us. Both of us. 
I... I've... put too much work into this project to lose you both now. What do you think it meant? About you being gone? That's enough for today. You two are going back to your cell. Come on. Why would he do that? I don't get- Subject two. Come with me. Uh, okay. <sighs> I hope we're going to do some puzzles. Are we going to do puzzles? No. Oh. Um, well. Then I hope it won't hurt too bad. You won't be hurt either. I won't? Then, what are we doing? I need you to heal me. You... You're asking me to... But last time... Believe me, I don't want you to either. I didn't say... But I don't have a choice. Why not? What about the people outside? Can't they heal you? I don't want them to know I'm hurt. I can't... Handle it right now. Why? Are they bad? No. No. They're not like me. You know, I've told my brother this. I know. And I know you've done bad things. A, a lot of bad things. A lot, a lot of bad things. Yes, I know. But I don't think that means you can only do bad things. I don't think that means you have to give up. You see things that aren't there. Just what you wish was true. There's nothing good left in me. It all went into you two. Everything else is ashes. I think when you make choices, you make bad choices a lot of the time. Almost all the time, even. But when that thing was going to kill us, you had to make a choice. And you made a good choice. You didn't have to protect us, but you did. And if there really was nothing good in you, if you really didn't care about us at all, like you keep saying, you wouldn't have done that. So, which is it? Is fighting good or bad? I recall when we talked about a young skeleton during the war. Um, it... it depends. That's not the same thing. It's complicated. And stop trying to trick me. That's not the point anyway, and you know it. I know what you did this time was good. I just know it. And I know that means something, even if you don't want it to. And I think if you really wanted to, you could do it again. And you could keep doing it if you tried. If you really tried. better than you are right now. And I think you know that too. You can try a little harder, even if you don't think so. You're foolish for believing in me. I'm not your brother. Really? Even if I did. When you look forward, can you see me? No. I never see you. Even now? No. Hmm. I- Please, enough.
Ava, you're back. Why didn't you wake me up? Dr. Alphys? Uh, um, yeah. I, I thought I'd find you here. Uh... Hi. Eh, didn't want to bother you. You don't get enough sleep anyway. Did you want something? Congratulations on your robotics work, by the way. Everyone's very impressed with your latest model. Uh, thanks. Uh, but, um, that's not why I... Uh, don't tell the king I've been smoking, please. Uh, I won't. But I mean, he, he already knows. What happened? What did he do this time? Uh, I just wanted to ask about... How you're doing? You want to know about my emotional state? Oh, nothing really. Just did some IQ tests and then he let me go. He gave me some more paper, I guess. You know, I don't think he's ever going to come back for the others. I think he was lying. <laughs> oh, brother, brother! Oh, this is wonderful! Whoa! What are you so happy about? Uh, well, I guess in, in so many words, I mean, the king's really worried about you, and, uh, uh, he's, he's not, he's not the only one, you know? I, uh, I, I told you, uh, a while back that lots of people care about you, and, uh, we're, we're just... I'm worrying people, am I? Haven't you been counting, brother? It's been six days! Six whole days! We just want to know you're okay. Uh, six days since what? Do you ever think about... Six days since he's heard us, brother! Six whole days where he hasn't heard us even a little! Non-existent. What? What do you mean? Do you ever think about what this world would be like if you didn't exist? If it just forgot about you? G D Dr. Gaster. Not even death, but something worse. D Dr. Gaster, what? What are you talking about? Huh. Ah, you're right. I, I wasn't even- Oh, I knew it! I knew he could make the right choice! I knew he could do it! Alphys, you've been a stellar colleague. Thank you. And... Thank you for caring about me. You didn't have to do that, and I know I didn't make it easy at times. Well, uh, you're... you're so... Uh, how could I not? Uh... Oh, brother, I'm so happy! Things are going to change, you'll see! And... and thank you for being so nice to me, even when I'm... I'm nothing compared to you. My main worry now is how you'll be hurt by what comes next. And for that, I'm sorry. Uh, what? Everything's going to be different now! What are you talking about? What? I've said too much. Everything's going to be good! <laughs> well, let's hope so. Huh?